Hey guys, it's me, Kezia, the world's leading female dating expert for men. Here's a couple of tips that will help you get your ex-girlfriend back. Now, I don't always encourage guys to try and get their exes back, but if it's something that you just have to do, if it's something which you know, you're losing sleep over and you need to get that girl back, then here's what to do. First of all, you have to remember what she fell in love with about you. What was she attracted to about you? What happens is when guys lose the girl that they like, they become the opposite of what it was that she was initially attracted to. She wasn't attracted to a needy, apologetic wimp. She was attracted to maybe someone who was lighthearted, funny, who was confident, whatever your character traits were then, that's what she was attracted to. So by becoming apologetic, weak and needy and pitiful, don't think that that is going to jog her memory and it's going to re-establish that attraction somehow. Now, if you've done something wrong, I know it's tempting for you to beg and, and reason with her and tell her, I'm so sorry, please take me back, like a little puppy dog. And she might feel sorry for you and she might take you back temporarily, but believe me, the power has completely shifted into her side and it will remain like that forever so you can't do that it will only buy you some time if you're apologetic and and you beg it will buy you a bit of time the best thing to do is to say to her look the last thing i ever wanted to do was hurt you and for that i'm sorry you see how i'm saying it i'm telling her everything she wants to hear but i'm not being needy okay there's 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 needy and crying and saying please forgive me and then there's apologizing so you are establishing the fact that you've done something wrong you've acknowledged it which is very important for her she needs to know that you've acknowledged that and you have said sorry but you have kept your dignity that's attractive in a man even in these circumstances when we're angry that's attractive so you've acknowledged what's happened and you've told her that the last thing you ever wanted to do was hurt her. That's very powerful. Now, you're, you've already broken a pattern when you do this because she's expecting you to grovel. Now, you've already broken a pattern, so she's already more curious now. You've surprised her. She's not prepared for this. This is good, this is good. The next thing that you say to her is, I believe what we have is worth investing in more. Now look what I said, I believe that what we have, not what we had, a lot of guys say what we had and therefore it's past tense, she's talking about the past, which means that she's already made the decision, which means it's already over, you can't do that. What we have, keep it in the present. I believe that what we have is worth investing in, not fighting for, okay? I didn't say fighting because she's sick of fighting, she's drained, she's upset, she's angry. It's a negative anchor, you don't wanna use that word, investing in, investing's good. It's mutual, you both have to invest. So you've said to her, you've apologized, and now you've got a goal, okay? She's probably going out of her mind. She, she wants you out of her life, but at the same time she misses you, she still has feelings for you. She's got one friend telling her this, she's got Cosmopolitan Magazine telling her that. And she's completely split, so she needs somebody to guide her in the direction that can result in something positive for both of you. And that's what you're doing. You're the man of the plan. Another very attractive quality of re-establishing that. Now, she, at this point, is probably a little bit like, okay, there's some resolution, there's something on the horizon, but she's still not sure. So in order to actually seal the deal, you can say to her, I tell you what, you tell me three things that you want from me to make sure this relationship works, and then I'll tell you what I need from you. Again, it's mutual. You're saying to her, tell me the three things you need. That's good. Now she has to think, okay? She's already investing. She's, she, she's already, as far as you're concerned, agreed to the fact that you both need another chance. <laughs> but, 
but she's now actually on the next stage thinking okay but what are those those qualities I need it gives her a sense of control okay it gives her back a little bit of control so she could say I don't want you doing this I don't want you hanging around this person I definitely don't want you seeing that girl again or I want you to, whatever it is okay I want you to spend more time with me or I don't know, I want you to buy me a dog. Who, who, who knows, okay? She could come out with something outlandish, in which case you just go, I agree with all of those things, okay? It's not time to argue about that. And then you tell her what you want. So again, it's mutual. And say, I tell you what, if she's still not convinced, you just say to her, let's give it three months and we both walk away forever if it doesn't work. And that's where the drama comes. And that's the beautiful part of the drama, that's the romance, okay? There's a passion there, there's the love. And she's thinking, my God, you've actually put it into her mind that she could lose you. You've actually created, you've painted this picture. So these four steps to getting your ex-girlfriend back are potent, alarmingly powerful, and I have given them to a lot of my clients in a lot more in-depth detail than that, obviously, to show them how to get their ex-girlfriends back. Even ex-girlfriends who are mad as hell at them, mad as hell, if they use this, these four steps of getting an ex-girlfriend back, four very quick steps also, they find that it works wonders. They find that they've taken this crazy mad woman who probably has every right to be crazy with him and they've calmed her down, they've given her what she wanted and they found a resolution. So I would advise you to put these four steps into practice. Um, if the girl is bored of you, so it's not like you've done something wrong where she can actually pick holes at the relationship, but maybe she's bored of you, that's something else, okay? That's a lot more difficult. It's a lot more of a challenge to get that ex-girlfriend back. But I will be doing another video later on to show you how you can get back a girl that's become bored, who's fallen out of love with you, who's not angry with you. Like I said, it's a lot harder and it's a little bit more complicated and takes much more time but it is achievable so if you want to find out about that video you know what you got to do you got to subscribe to my channel and after that check out my website www.kezia-noble.com where you can find out more about myself my incredible team of instructors both male and female my live events and all my dvds and ebooks like i said i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you soon on one of my live events take care Thank you.